In this video, I'm going to show you 13 tricks to help you complete the Gorod Krovi Easter Egg faster and easier. At the beginning of the game, if you complete the first five rounds in under five minutes, you get an extra bonus melee weapon that you can use to help you get through the early rounds. Many people don't know that you can use this melee weapon even while you're not holding it. When you're building the gauntlet, you can actually put the egg in this spot next to Stamina Up, and no matter where the dragon lands on the map, it will still cause it to heat up. You don't have to wait in that area for the dragon to warm up the egg. You can go do other things on the map and trust that the dragon will get to it. When you're building the gauntlet, for the step where you need to get melee kills, you can actually use the shield blast to get those kills. You don't need to do it with a melee weapon. Anytime you need to travel from the hatchery to the main area of the map, you can use it anywhere but here to skip the sequence where you ride through the pipe. For the step where you need to kill Gersh, you can actually use the Raygun Mark III to hit him in one shot. And once he finishes his quote, you can actually shoot him immediately a second time and a third time without causing him to move. For you, no, it can't be you. From the Cosmodrome, your faces are familiar, but... Just make sure to get the timing right. Ah! For the step where you need to escort the Valkyrie drone, I find that the easiest way to do it is shoot the left shot from the Raygun Mark III. This will stun all of the zombies behind you and keep them in place so that you can easily escort it moving in a straight line with no zombies in front of you. Did you also know that you can actually kill the Valkyrie drone early? If you kill the Valkyrie drone as it gets towards the top of the steps in Dragon Command, it will count the step as completed. It counts the step as completed. Now this one's a little more well known, but for the bomb step, the easiest way to remember the order that you need to hit the buttons is to just take your phone, put it on slow-mo mode, and record your screen. You can do this on both solo and co-op. No zombies will spawn while the order is flashing on screen. For the mangler step, the mangler can only spawn in the supply depot, the department store, or the tank factory. If you use headphones, you can easily hear which direction it's spawning in. Fetid fish! Fetid fish! No zombies can spawn while Sophia is talking, so I recommend you run in that direction as soon as possible. Once you get to the mangler, if you carefully shoot its right shoulder off, it will actually start sprinting, and you can just have it follow you all the way back to Dragon Command. For the last lockdown step, you don't actually need to finish the lockdown. There are six manglers that are going to spawn in the first wave. If you kill five of them and hold the last one, you could just run in circles around the hatchery until the progress bar is complete, then kill that mangler. It will end the step immediately. And you don't even need to finish the rest. It's you wait for the download to complete and you're done. If you're playing solo, before you go into the boss fight, it is very important that you get Quick Revive. There is a glitch for some reason where if you don't have Quick Revive, Nikolai can insta-kill you, even during the first half of the boss fight when you're fighting the dragon. Another fun tip that you might not know is you can actually skip a lot of Sophia's dialogue throughout most of the Easter egg. If you pull this trap right before Sophia starts talking, your character will talk about the trap instead and it will skip her quote entirely. This can be done for a majority of her dialogue throughout the entire Easter egg. The easiest strategy for the first half of the boss fight is to wait until Nikolai shoots the dragon, then throw a monkey, then use your Raygun Mark III to get the dragon. That is the strongest weapon against the dragon, and it usually only takes a couple of shots to finish that portion. Before, 
For the second half of the boss fight, to easily take down Nikolai, you just need to understand the four points that you need to shoot. There are the two front, left, and right spots on the front of his body that are always visible. There's the top one, which is only visible when he's spawning wraps. And then there's the very front one, which only appears after the first three have been destroyed. Hit those four points in that order with the Raygun Mark III to easily complete the Nikolai boss fight. One last bonus tip that you might not know, if you complete the Easter Egg in under 90 minutes, all players will be awarded all perks permanently. If you're on solo, it also gives you all the perks permanently, except for Quick Revive. However, it does give you nine perk slots, and you can infinitely buy back Quick Revive from the Wonder Fist machine over and over again, no matter how many times you go down. And get Quick Revive back. The Wonder Fizz machine can still move, but you can always just find it, hit it again, and get your Quick Revive back. This is an easy way to help you get high rounds, because you can basically never die, since you have unlimited lives. Anyway, that was my guide. I really hope you learned something new in this video, and maybe you'll have an easier time completing the Gorod Krovi Easter Egg. If there's anything new that you learned in this video that you really liked, or if you have any tips of your own, let me know down in the comments, or by leaving a like and subscribing for more content like this. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you all soon.